to get up early. I don't like to be late. And then with Marjorie, she's kind of slow. She's the opposite. Sometimes I wake up with him, but then like I fall back to sleep. They're great kids. I love them. I enjoy them every day. dense neighborhood. There's a lot of housing smashed right into a couple blocks. It's a tight-knit community. They're very invested in their children's education. There's a high rate of poverty in the neighborhood, very low socioeconomic rates around here, so there is health issues in the community. There's not a lot of healthy choices in the community, not a lot of fresh food stores. I've been here for about two years. I've had the advantage of seeing the benefit of the kids who are in World Fit for Kids program versus the kids who aren't. And it's night and day. They've got more stamina during the day. They can sit for longer. They're stronger. They get sick less often. So therefore, they're here more often. <laughs> Today, we are going to look at what makes up a healthy place so we can help ourselves stay healthy and be ready to learn. Who can eat some vegetables? <laughs> Tomato? Yeah. Some vegetables? At a World Fit for Kids, our real focus is on creating healthy habits and lifestyles and behaviors by being it and being a role model. I like kids. And every day after school, we serve about 100 kids from 3 to 6 o'clock. Um, we provide nutrition programming, physical activity, enrichment, and a lot of homework support for first through fifth grade. What can fruits and vegetables provide for us? Good to have your kids get involved in, in a program like this because it gives them more opportunity to be involved. And I see a lot of changes in them. Why do you like food? You don't know why? Is it because it tastes good? Because it's good for you? We do everything from exposing the kids to new food, to giving them independence and showing them how to make their own snack, to helping them with their homework to, you know, teaching them how to dribble a ball or socializing them with the older kids. Oh, oh Kaiser's been an awesome partner, number one, because of the alignment of our mission and our vision, which is really preventative health care. And so everything that we're doing to work with kids is really empowering them to know the information so they can make healthy choices along the way and know how to live, live really their best life. Fantastic. Nice job. High five. They can graduate from high school. They can go on to college. They can be healthy. They can excel in sports and academics. We've really tried to empower kids, even as young as the fourth and fifth grade, to be the advocates for change. Good. That's an awesome job. Our coaches are really the heart and the soul of our program. Right here, you're going to look for this one, and you're going to look for the sign. I actually grew up around the neighborhood, too, and I used to spend a lot of time indoors in the apartment. I needed to run, I wanted to play. I feel a lot of our kids don't have those opportunities, so our program does a lot for them. Just recently, Jackie actually was sending me a text message that they were at an event with kids, a uh, tournament, and the kids saw what the other kids were eating and said, coach, look what they're eating, they're never gonna beat us. So there was a sense that they were starting to really link like their performance to what's going in. And that includes not only their food, but their sleep and their relationships and their hydration. So there's really a, a well-rounded approach to health and nutrition. And if you can instill those habits in a child and you can keep them going through middle and high school, you've, you've got an adult. You've got an adult that will raise children to be advocates for their own health. It's a beautiful thing. It doesn't happen overnight, and it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of years, and it takes a lot of effort. And it's been really great just to see that with service in underserved communities that kids can really thrive. Ready? One, two, three.